How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back to get another review. Fucking old ale time. My favorite kind of time. A little bit of old ale, English barley wine, whatever you want to call it time, in a form of uh, Coonan Brewings. It's their 4D 2017 version. Uh, yeah, Coonan, love them dearly. Um, they are my kind of brewery. They brew a whole bunch. They brew a bunch of different stuff. Uh, but um, they're best known for their you know, kind of old ales, barley wines, things like that. And um, yeah, can't wait to dive in this sucker. I've actually had this before. I think I might have reviewed it before too. Um, when Average Joe, Average Troll, for those that don't know, you should know. Uh, he came down to visit me from Buffalo and he brought down this. I think he brought down actually two or three different versions of this. So I might have reviewed this before. I'm going to review it again. There you go. Different version, actually. Different year, obviously. That was about two years ago. This is actually 2017 version. As far as what it says on here, it says, Coonan Brewing, uh, 4D, barrel-aged, old ale, 13.5% um, alcohol by volume. Definitely a little bit of a sipper. Government warning stuff and on the back here. It says, 4D is aged for a minimum of nine months before released. This ale has an intense sweet caramel malt flavor and aroma that develops into toffee, toasted marshmallow-like character. Fuck yeah, motherfucker. Um, and that'd be that. Uh, Label-wise, it's awesome. You know, gold on gold on gold. Ghetto foil up top. I dig it. Um, big, huge, long-stemmed tulip here. So you can't really see me pour it all that well, but why am I using it? Because. Who sent this to me? The one and only Ewart. Strange bruising on the YouTubes, drinky poo on the Instagrams. Um, he loves this glass. So I figured... The last one of the barrel aged beers that he sent me, he sent me a huge barrel aged box. I figured I might as well close it with a little bit of proper glass, even though it's a little bit of dirty glass mafia. I just washed that shit too by hand like minutes ago. That's why it was still wet. Man, I suck. Anyway, I mean, there wasn't a big hunt on it to begin with. There was probably about a half to three quarters of a pinky finger dissipated, not too much of a head. Um, khaki in color, and man, look at that. She's got that uh, kind of old ale, barley wine, kind of doo doo water thing going on that I love so much. Deep, rich, dark mahoganies. Kind of a little bit of haziness going on. She looks the part. She, she smells the part. Yeah, I mean, there's a, just a nice, rich, sweet, kind of caramel toffee, date figgy kind of thing going on. Definitely getting that kind of barrel-aged, uh, bourbon-y, a um, little bit of booziness in it, but not too much. I mean, it's a big beer to begin with, but you're also getting a little bit of booze from that kind of Spirit with a soft, kind of smoky, kind of rubbed with kind of dark chocolate char that I talk about that oh, I love so much. It's not a hugely impactful kind of barrel on it, but there's enough there to kind of give you what you want. But yeah, sweet, delicious. Smells awesome. I just want to drink it. Cheers. Wow. Wow. That's super fucking drinkable. That's so fucking creepy, it's not even funny. I can just drink this, like, I could chug this. I can't chug beer. It is literally date fig toffee personified. A little bit. Touch just enough, in a good way. Touch a booziness to it. So you know you're drinking something big. It's not heat or anything like that, but when you get it, you get a little warm in the cheeks and you kind of feel it. That's a good thing. Um, getting a little bit of vanilla, getting a little bit of those kind of soft kind of marshmallow vibes. Probably getting a little bit more coconut than anything else. Um, and it, it, it has a nice mouthfeel to it. Nothing too crazy, nothing too dense. It's definitely kind of in that kind of old ale barley wine um, realm. A nice carbonation to it. It's almost like um, Kunin has that kind of carbonation in their beers that I wish Hair of the Dog had. Uh, you know, I like, or I've been more exposed to a lot of the Hair of the Dog beers, and they're very similar to me as far as, you know, styles and whatnot. Um, and I've been exposed to way more Hair of the Dog. It seems like Kunin just gets the carbonation right more often than not, whereas Hair of the Dog gets it wrong more often than not. But the beers themselves, I mean, they're almost like, you know, twin cities when it comes to the kind of beers they do. Uh, different, but delicious. Uh, so I don't know what else to say. It's fucking delicious for, like, barley wine. English barley wine. Uh, they call it an old ale. Listen. Sure, that works for me, because I like old ales. But it's definitely in that kind of, you know, old stocky Thomas Hardy realm things 
but that you know you're flirting and dancing on the edge of a barley wine. So I mean, uh, you know, styles be damned. What it is is just a big, bold, delicious malty, fucking fantastical representation of what is basically the antithesis of the hot thought world nowadays. So yeah, absolutely delicious stuff. Age will probably make it kind of. I don't want to say level out, but come let a little bit of those bits and pieces kind of come through. Sure, you might lose a little bit of that kind of marshmallow kind of um, coconut thing that I'm getting in here. You might lose a little bit, but I think you'd gain a little bit. So it's almost like a weird beer because I think this is, uh, you know, 2017. I'm not sure what date it actually comes out, but it's probably relatively fresh. Probably almost definitely less than a year, if not just a couple months out. This is almost a beer I say either drink fresh or let it age like the long fucking haul, like five month, five years, not months, sorry, or even longer. This is big, delicious, tasty, fucking fantasticalness. Uh, so let's talk about it. Is it one of the better old ale slash barley wines I've had as of late? Yes. Um, I would probably put the barley wine, their actual barley wine, the one you can watch it. I'll probably post a review the same time as I post this. A little bit tipsy in that one. It was my birthday, so forgive me, but go watch that one. Probably put it ahead of this one. Um, probably, de actually, I shouldn't say probably. Definitely put it ahead against, uh, against this one because I reviewed that other one, like I said, after quite a few be beers and it was super impactful. So uh, for it to be that impactful with me being a little bit tipsy kind of shows you something. Um, value and availability. Brewery only, I assume. Uh, gotta go there and get it. Maybe you can chime in on that and leave you with if you like what we like this. If you like good beer, if you like malty beer, if you like big barrel aged stouts, or if you like you want to get into that barley wine world and you just want to kind of try the best of the best because that's what you have here. Uh, Kunin probably, I mean, they're getting a little bit of more publicity as of late, especially with the whole don't drink beers barley wine movement. But um, I mean, they've been around for so long making these big, rich, robust beers, and um, if you're kind of evolving and eventually kind of starting to appreciate the kind of maltier side of things and barley wines is one of them you kind of want to do the whole kind of mecca thing then you gotta check them out because honestly you know there is a mount rushmore to the barley wines in the united states and kunin is definitely on it so delicious beer and a delicious series that was sent to me uh by yurt i don't know if this is going to be the last ones i post up i'd probably not but uh just have to say thank you dude you sent off an awesome box of um Big barrel aged barley wines and, and stouts and things like that. I really appreciate it. So, yeah. My liver doesn't, but I do. So, there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, didn't, anywhere in between, down there, words and stuff and things. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, all four of those places. Flip the script. Mostly audio realm, beermassive.com. You can go in there, podcasts, brewer interviews, opinion pieces, stuff like that. Go check that out for a little bit of a different kind of take on the stuff that I do. Yeah. Just can't help myself. Got to keep doing different shit. And yeah, there you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a beautiful barley wine right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers.